Martin here from Lung and Sleep. In this video, I'm going to show you a case of a 60 year old man who presented with shortness of breath. He was an obese man and had a history of smoking and some known lung disease. But his breathing changed and he described episodes where he found it very difficult to breathe and then other times that he found it a bit easier to breathe. Anyway, his CT scan showed a very interesting finding. Here's the CT scan and as we scroll through, we can see that there's an abnormality sitting right there in the left main bronchus. Looks like a polypoid lesion arising from the anterior wall of the left main bronchus and almost completely obstructing the lumen. It's just distal to it in the left main, looks like there's some mucus sitting in the airway. And as we scroll down, it looks like there's some narrowing of the distal airways going to the left lower lobe and lingula. There's some volume loss on this side, consistent with partial obstruction, but there's no atelectasis or collapse, showing that it's, there's not complete obstruction of the left main bronchus, just partial obstruction. But this will certainly be causing shortness of breath, and it's interesting the history of intermittent episodes of shortness of breath and you wonder whether this is sitting on a pedicle and sometimes obstructs the airway causing quite significant shortness of breath and at other times it's more patent. So what we need to do here is bronchoscopy and ideally resect this lesion at the same time. So I performed a rigid bronchoscopy. Rigid bronchoscopy was important to secure the airway and allow to instrumentation within the airway to resect the tumour. So once the rigid bronchoscope was intubated into the trachea, I used a flexible bronchoscope, a therapeutic scope, and initially to inspect the airways. And there you could see at the proximal left main bronchus was a smooth tumour almost completely obstructing the lumen. It looked quite smooth and sort of had the appearance of a carcinoid. And this would be what would be expected based on the appearance bronchoscopically and also the radiological appearance. The scope was able to pass the obstruction and see that the left lower lobe and left upper lobe were patent. I then used a loop diathermy or snare. And the loop was put around the tumour and used diathermy to cut through at the base and to resect it. It then fell distally into the lung, so it had to be removed using the cryoprobe, which I'll show you. So here's the view down the rigid bronchoscope, and you can see here firstly the tumour bed, so it's been resected off very nicely, and there's the tumour down the distal left main. This is the cryoprobe, and it freezes the tumour to allow it to stick so that you can remove it out through the rigid. Oops, it got dropped must have thawed off. I'll have to try that again. So here we go again with the cryoprobe. So we just place that out and touch it on the tumour. Activate the freeze. And we'll freeze it a bit more this time so it sticks and so we can remove it all the way out of the rigid bronchoscope and put it into a formalin pot for assessment. Now I'll just have a look through the airways to inspect the airways now that the tumour has been removed. You can see the right lung is clear, the left main bronchus, you can see the tumour bed there on the medial anterior wall, but the left main bronchus is completely patent, and so is the upper lobe and the lower lobe. So that's a really good result, and this patient should feel a lot better following this procedure. So there you can see the tumour, uh, ready to be sent off to pathology, and the histological examination confirmed that this in fact was a carcinoid. It was an atypical carcinoid. So a good result for the patient having that resected and getting a good symptomatic improvement. Hopefully you enjoyed that case and uh, found it interesting and I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and like my video and I'll try and do more videos and you'll be notified about them. Okay, see you later.